Just hours ago, more than 150 high school students walked through those doors, excited to get their diplomas and start the next chapter. However, today, for the class of 2019, it was also a day of remembrance. And while Nick Calls wasn't here tonight, his classmates made sure to let his mother know he won't ever be forgotten. Graduation night is supposed to be a happy memory for high school students, but as the San Joaquin Memorial graduates filed in, filling the rows of seats in their cap and gowns, one chair remained empty. The whole class is in here. Uh, there's obviously a piece missing. That seat belonged to Nick Calls, the 17-year-old shot and killed in a botched robbery attempt near Fresno's Fig Garden area last June. <laughs> Paul's mother, Lisa, says she's glad to see his friends walk across the stage, but heartbroken her son isn't one of them. This is something he definitely should be um, doing today with his friends, his classmates. Now, I want the families and their children and his friends that are graduating to, you know, celebrate this time. But in the same time, I, I don't want them to forget him. Our beloved classmate, who is much more than a friend, he was family. Inside, Call's friends say the teen is there in spirit. I went by and saw him at the cemetery before this and like just prayed with him and it's a big day for not only all of us but him too. Administrators have started handing out diplomas, the first one going to Call's mother. <laughs> Parents and students erupted in applause as Call's friends and mother embraced. While it's been hard, Call's mom says being around her son's friends and sharing his memory brings her comfort and leaves the class of 2019 with a message. Work hard, play hard. And always remember, take time to smell the roses, really. Life's short and just enjoy life. Now, Call's mother says that they also have a foundation called Nurtured for Kindness in Nick. And on July 10th, she's asking folks to just do a random act in, of kindness in honor of her son. And July 10th is also the one-year anniversary of his death. Live in downtown Fresno, I'm Natalie Granda, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.